Hey there, welcome to getting your WordPress site up and running with Flywheel in 15 minutes or less. Before you create your Flywheel account, you're going to need a domain for your site. Flywheel doesn't handle the domain, so we're actually going to head over to hover.com to register a domain name for the first time. Now, if you already have a domain, you don't have to worry about this step, but we're going to assume at least for this video, that you're going to need a domain. I've already created a Hover account, which is completely free, and we're going to head over to our control panel here. After I've signed into my account, you'll see a few example domains. These are ones I don't own, but if we click on the plus sign, we can uh, enter a domain and find one that's available. I'm going to enter in Forest Direct company name and do a search. You can see that the .com isn't available, but it does give me a number of other options here, including forestdirect.co.app. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cart and follow the checkout process. Once you've purchased your domain name, you'll be able to click on it from your dashboard within Hover and see a few settings. We'll be returning to this screen in a few moments. But for now, let's go back to Flywheel. At the pricing page, uh, you can check out different resources, but for this video, we're gonna start with the tiny plan. Tap on Get Started, and go ahead and fill out this form. Click on Sign Up. Alright, so now that we've created an account with Flywheel, we just need to fill in a couple more pieces of information. I'm going to go ahead and stick with monthly right now. I'm going to add a payment method. You can use a credit card or link your PayPal account, which is what I'm going to do here. Once I've added my PayPal account, add a description here and add that account and then I'm going to just select that as my payment option. Here I can fill out my additional billing information and hit checkout. Alrighty here. So as you can see I've logged in, I have my WordPress site, my account here. So at this point what we're going to do is actually create our site on Flywheel. In order to do that, we want to give our site a name. We're also going to create a temporary domain. So let's go ahead and use the same name that we're going to use for our final domain. Here, we're going to create our WordPress user to access the administration backend of the site. This is going to be different than your actual Flywheel password. So make sure that you make note of this as we're going to need it in just a few moments. Alrighty here, now we're ready to create our site. This is where the real magic begins. This process is going to just take a few moments. So while we're waiting on that, I'm going to actually hop over to my Gmail account. I'm going to verify my email address. This is just a quick security protocol to make sure that we have everything linked up just right in Flywheel. Heading back over, we're just seeing that there's a few finishing details that are being wrapped up while Flywheel creates our WordPress site. One other thing that we can do while we're waiting for our site to spin up is find a theme for our new site. WordPress comes with a theme out of the box, but it's not too special. Luckily, under the Get Started tab in the footer, you can click on Themes. Here you can check out over 30 different themes that Flywheel offers completely for free as part of your subscription package. I'm going to go ahead and download the Author Pro package. There's two files that we're going to need to download, the Genesis package and then also the theme itself. So let's go ahead and start by downloading Genesis. Alright, 
Now that those are ready, let's go back to our site, see if it's ready to go. All right, looks like our site is all ready to go. Awesome. A couple things I wanted to note for you here is you can see by default, privacy mode is on. This just makes sure that people who visit your site have to be able to put in a username and password between search engines before your site is ready to go. Once we launch our site, we'll go ahead and disable this, but for now, let's keep it on. It's also important to note that this is different than the username and password you created just a few moments ago for your WordPress administration. Right now, the username is set to Flywheel, password is set to password. So let's go ahead and click on WP Admin. This is where we're gonna start making changes to our site. This is where we're going to enter the privacy mode password, which is just password and the username here. Go ahead and hit sign in. Now here is where we're going to go ahead and put in our username and password that we just created a few moments ago when we installed our site for the first time. Awesome, so we are logged into our site. You can see it's still the temporary domain forestdirect.flywheelsites.com or in the WP admin section. This is super awesome if you've ever worked with WordPress before, you don't have to go through all the steps of creating all the site, connecting the database, and Flywheel handles all of that for you. If we want to preview what the site currently looks like, let's open up a new tab and hop over there. All right, awesome. You can see Forest Direct, another WordPress site, Hello World, super simple. Let's go ahead and install though that theme that we just downloaded a few moments ago and get a custom look for our site. We're gonna go over to appearance, click on themes, click on add new. We're gonna go to upload our theme and I'm just gonna drag in the file from the bottom download bar and click on install now. This will take just a few moments. Once we get a success message here, let's activate this. It says we also need a child theme. So let's go ahead and hit add new. Load theme. Put our author pro here and hit install now. All right, and let's activate that. Awesome. Now, if we come back to our site, click refresh. We have a whole new look to our site. A lot cleaner here. One other thing that we can do real quick is to customize this theme just a tiny bit so that our home page instead of our latest post is a static page and we can actually select a page that's all ready to go for us here. Go ahead and hit publish. There you go. We've created our first WordPress site on Flywheel, we've installed the theme, and we've connected our first sample page. We can just click out of this, head over to our pages, here see our two sample pages that have already been created for us. Click on edit, start customizing this right here. Super simple. So now that we've set up our site, we need to be able to connect our own custom domain that we registered on Hover a few minutes ago with Flywheel. Now that I'm logged into Hover, you'll see a few options at the top right. Again, depending on where you register your domain, it may look a little bit different, but you're gonna to wanna to look for something that says DNS. Once up here, you'll see a few DNS records. If I navigate back to my Flywheel dashboard, you'll see a card here that says domains. Let's go ahead and add our domain that we wanna use. And make this the primary domain. Now you can see, even though we've added this, there's a red exclamation point next to our domain name. This means while it's been added to Flywheel, it's not yet connected to Hover or where your domain is registered. In order to do this, we're going to take our IP address that we have here. You can also see that there's a little link that says DNS help. This is a great little help doc that goes through what your records are going to need to look like. You can see we're going to need an A record and a C name record. The A record is our Flywheel site IP address. If we hop over here, you can see our IP right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, go back, and we're going to add a record. I'm gonna add the host name, and paste in the IP address. Go 
go ahead and click add record. After we've created the A record, we actually don't even need to create a C name record because that already exists for us by default in Hover. So we should be all set. Let's hop back over to our flywheel dashboard. From here, we have the option to click on the three dots and check the DNS status. It may take a few minutes and up to a few hours in order for Hover or wherever your domain name is registered at to update its records so that Flywheel can see that it's being pointed to the right place. But we can always come back here and click on Check DNS Status. Now that it's been a few minutes, I'm going to come back and click on Check DNS Status. Awesome! Now we're getting green check marks all the way through. This means our site has been successfully connected between Hover and Flywheel. Now, we only have one more step. We want to make sure we enable SSL so that our site is nice and secure. We're going to click on Enable SSL and go ahead and just click on Complete SSL Setup. This is just going to take a couple minutes and it's going to put a nice padlock right next to your URL. Super simple. Now that our SSL has been active, let's go ahead and turn off privacy mode. From here, we're going to go navigate to our site. Awesome, here's our site. Give yourself a high five, grab a beverage, shout out from the rooftops, whatever you want to do. You've just created your first WordPress site on Flywheel. Congratulations. Now, you can continue to customize your site, add more pages, upload your logo, the rest is at your fingertips. Best of luck.